and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Jade and I post videos over here at least three times a week. But we are currently in the middle of Vlogtober. So there's videos going up here every single day of the month, which is one of my favourite times of the year because I love being able to upload back-to-back -back content. But I hope you're well today. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a full review of the Panslit products. They kindly sent over a bunch of their products to try and I wanted to do a video just sat down and testing them out and seeing if they are actually any good or not. So if you guys want to see this, make sure you stick around don't forget to smash that thumbs up button leave me a lovely little comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and let's get started So Pansy are a company who focus on things like skincare, tanning, things like that. And they have their own little online shop, so I'll include that in the description box down below. But they sent me over these three different products. The first one being these self-tanning drops. Then I've got the caffeine eye cream. And then the third one is this she butter, which is a moisturiser. So I've got these three different products. And I quite like the fact that they are so different from each other. So you can test out the different aspects of the brand. So the tanning parts, moisturising, different parts of the brand. I'm going to jump straight on this video. And the first thing that I'm going to do before doing any of the products is I'm going to actually cleanse my face because I always like to cleanse before I do put any kind of skincare products or just any products in general on my face. I'm going to be using the micellar cleansing water from Primark. This one was just £2 and I do have a variety of different ones. Normally I go for my Garnier one but I thought today I'll just give this one a go. I don't really use this one that much but this is one that my mum uses. It actually comes out a lot better than the other one does. It comes out a lot faster. So I'm just getting some of this on my cotton pad and I'm just going to cleanse my face and make sure it's nice and clean before we do start applying any products. So the eye cream and the moisturiser I have actually been using for a little while now just to kind of test them out and see how they're going. So I have actually got a before video to show you guys as well. My face is pretty much all cleanse now and I'm going to set my before video here so you guys can see what my skin looked like before I started using any of these products and what it was like so that is just going to go in here for you guys. So I just want to do a bit of a before video before I start actually trying out and testing these products. This is what my skin is currently looking like. I've got a lot of dry places especially around here. I had some kind of blemishes over here. My skin has just felt so dry around there my forehead is very very oily however and my under eye bags are quite dark at the moment but yeah this is currently how my skin is looking and then we'll test it again soon so now i'm just going to get started and the first thing i'm going to start with is this, this caffeine, caffeine eye, cream. eye cream and this is what the packaging looks like it is so cool it actually looks really really detailed it looks quite professional and that's what it looks like on the top so it says natural vitamins and caffeine with 15 grams inside this is supposed to restore skin elasticity reduce eye bags and puffiness which is something that i honestly have been in need of i've had such a busy month so far and this is something that really really would be good for me so usage method step one is wash and dry your face so i've just cleansed mine step two take an appropriate amount of this product evenly spread on the eye skin and then gently massage to absorb it and then repeat this every morning and night so that's what we're gonna go in with now so this, this is, what is what the actual product, product itself, itself looks, looks like. like it's in a little glass jar which I was quite surprised at this. I didn't think it'd be in a little glass jar, but it makes it a lot more professional. And on the top, it's got this little cap here that helps prevent any spillages. And then this is what it looks like. And it just smells really strange. I can't put my finger on it. It's not really a bad smell, it just smells. It might be like the caffeine in it that I can smell, I'm not sure. But this is what the product looks like. It's like quite white and it's got quite a thick and creamy consistency and like creamy texture to it. So I'm just going to get some of this on my finger. As you can see, it is just such a lovely thick consistency. I'm just going to start to apply this on my eye bags are because this is why I really, really need it. And when you start to apply it, it feels quite cooling, but it is quite creamy and it's really, really nice consistency and a really nice texture. I didn't actually expect to like this at all because I don't really use eye creams that much because my skin is so sensitive, I don't really use eye creams. But so far this has actually been working really well for me this is how my eyes are currently looking and my eyes always have really really big bags under and i've just never ever seemed to be able to get rid of them no matter how much i sleep no matter how much i work or stress or anything i can never get rid of these so that is now all applied and you can kind of see there how it's a little bit shiny where i've actually applied the product but you don't really need a massive amount of product for this 
it does smell a bit weird though. I just can't put my finger on what the smell is. But you don't need a massive amount of product at all for this. I just get a nice little scoop out and then just start to rub it in and your skin will just soak it up. Mine does. Mine always soaks it up straight away. So that is the eye cream nicely applied there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this moisturiser. So this is the packaging for this one. And I love the colour of this. I think it's really, really, really pretty. Really nice vibes on it. It's got this little avocado here. It says She Butter. And it's a pure, unrefined daily skin moisturiser for the face and the body. And this is the packaging for it. So once we actually open this up... It's got a little white container inside and this has your product in. So it says on the side, usage method to apply to clean dry skin by warming up a small amount of shea butter in your hands, apply as needed. So that is what we are going to do. And again, it's got another protective cap on. I love these so much. I always keep these protective caps because they help so, so, so much to keep your products safe and to stop them from spilling. Especially if you do things like go on holiday and you take them abroad with you. You don't want them to spill in your suitcase. So this is just an overview of what the product looks like. As you can see, it's not quite full because I have taken some out. But this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to take some of this in my hands and then I'm just going to rub it between my hands and then start to apply this to my face it is it is quite a nice smell but again i can't put my finger on what it smells like but it does smell quite nice it's also got a list of ingredients on the back as well which is really really good but it smells quite good and again if you do want any of these products the link is in my description box but I'll just start to apply this and my skin has literally been drinking this up. I used to start off with this by putting a small amount on my skin and now it has been soaking it up so, so fast that I've just been putting some on and then going around and doing a second layer because it has been drinking it up. So my skin obviously seems to like this. My dry patches have definitely seemed to clear up a bit. Like if you can see my dry patches, you can't really tell where they are as much and usually when I've been wearing makeup you can see my dry patches because when I cleanse my skin or anything there's just like patchy parts on my skin and it just looks horrible but recently and you'll be able to see in my makeup videos recently as well that my skin has looked a lot clearer and a lot less patchy so I'm just going to apply a little bit more of this if I'm completely honest I'm not a massive fan of the smell because I just can't work out what it smells like usually with moisturizer you don't really have a smell so it's a bit strange but it's not a bad one and now I'm just rubbing this in. And it's just got a really nice consistency. The texture of this one is a lot different to the texture of the other one. The other one was quite a thick texture. And this one's a lot more liquidy. Like, it's not a liquid, but it's a lot of a thinner texture than the other one. And it just glides straight onto your skin and applies and sinks in really, really nice. So I'm just going to finish applying this. And then we're going to have a look at the tan. So my skin does feel really, really smooth at the moment and a lot softer than it did. As I said, it was really, really dry before, so it's definitely really helped with me having dry skin and all that. So next, I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you guys the self-tanning drops. So with these, you are supposed to wear gloves, but I don't actually have any because we are moving at the moment, so I don't have any gloves. So if my hands got orange, then we can always do a little fake tan removal kit because I've got some new removers to try. So this is the fake tanner. They are self tanning drops and the package looks so classy and so professional. These ones say natural looking tanning colour, long lasting and medium tan, face and body. So that's quite good. I feel like I'd use this more for my face than I would for my body because it's a smaller product. So I'd rather not waste all of it on one body application. So this is what it looks like once you open it up. And it is in this nice black bottle. Again, like I said, this product just looks really, really classy and really, really cute. So it's a black bottle with a little squeegee pipette on the top. And that's how you get your product out. So I have used these tans before where you're supposed to basically mix your tan drops in with a moisturiser that you'd normally use. Or like a product like that that you'd use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here, which is my simple moisturiser. I'm just going to get some on the back of my hand. The last time I used tanning drops, I used too much moisturiser and not enough drops. So I'm not going to apply as much moisturiser this time. I definitely need some more though because it's taking forever to come out. So that will do for the amount of moisturiser I need. 
So it says to apply one to five drops depending on how dark you want it. So I'm going to go for maybe three drops because I haven't done the rest of my body with tan yet. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So I'm going to apply, no I'm going to apply two I think. One, two, so that's two drops applied. And then I'm going to use the end of a brush to mix these in together. So I'm just going to use one of my old brushes. I'll just use this one from Real Techniques because it's quite a pointy end. I'm just going to use that to mix it nicely in together. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit. And then now that it is nicely mixed in, and it actually mixes in really, really well. Sometimes you get tans and you're trying to mix them with your moisturiser. And they just sit on the top and they don't want to mix in properly. So that's actually mixed quite well. And it does have a really, really nice feel to it. Some feel really oily, but this doesn't. So I'm just going to start to apply this onto my face. So I'm just trying to do an even coverage. One of the things that I love about these tanning drops is that I feel like I always get a better coverage, a more even coverage than if you use an actual normal tanner on your face because especially with my dry skin, I feel like the moisturiser really helps it. And then I feel like it just glides on and sinks in a lot nicer than if you're trying to actually apply it using an applicator. So this is currently how it is looking. And that is now all applied and sunk in, hopefully, quite nicely. And my skin feels really, really good. It actually feels really soft at the moment, and that'll just be from the moisturiser we used earlier on. So the packaging says that you should see results on your face within four to six hours. So I'm going to go away, and then we'll be back in a bit, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update, and it's so hard to see, but the tanning drops have actually worked. I went to sleep, woke up, and they actually made such a difference. Like, I genuinely could see the difference in my face. It's hard to see on camera as much. Moisturiser has done an amazing job but because, as you can see, it's not like a really obvious, like, orange tan on me. It is blended in really nicely and there's no patchy places. So the moisturiser is obviously doing a very good job. My underwear bags are definitely getting better from what they were like before, so I'm really happy with that. But yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, leave me a lovely little comment down below and like this video. If you do want to get your hands on any of these products, the links will be in the description box down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!